Okay, as you can see, this is a completely different day from the day I started. Like we've talked about, this minimalism thing is tough and it takes a while. It's actually been a couple of days and we're gonna attack it again. The kitchen is yet again a mess and it drives me crazy. And there's so many dishes. Part of the reason for the problem is all of the stupid Tupperware. Stupid Tupperware, hate Tupperware. So we're gonna solve the Tupperware problem today. We're also gonna get into silverware. We're gonna talk about organization of the kitchen, where we've put everything. <sighs> and this time I'm not doing it alone. It's gonna be great. So if you're like us and you decided you wanna keep some of your dishes and silverware and cups and whatever in order to accommodate those who visit you you have to answer the question where are you going to put it all it's a big deal question and honestly i was struggling with it for a really long time that was until today my wife and i started talking about it and she said well how about the, cu the cupboards above the fridge uh here they are so because my wife is a freaking genius and more importantly because i didn't even know they were there that is where you put your stuff. So, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna take all this crap and we're gonna move it to the cupboard above the fridge. Two cookbooks, three cookbooks, four cookbooks. We're keeping the system basically the same as we did everything else. Uh, two of everything, okay? Two small spoons, two small forks, two big spoons, two, two big forks. This is what we have decided to do with all of the utensils we no longer want to have out and around. We're going to save these because they fit with our hopes and dreams to have more people over. Tiff just got done doing a bunch of dishes so that we can get an accurate count on exactly what needs to be dealt with. And uh, that's how many we have been using that we don't need to be using. Bam! Covered above the fridge. Out of sight, out of mind. Favorite place ever. Gotta go. Just kidding. We're not done yet. Kitchen herpes. Tupperware. Ugh. You end up throwing them away anyway. Yes. <laughs> Is that the one from the neighbor? Did I buy that a hundred million years ago and that's how long it's been in your fridge? Somehow you always end up with more lids than you do Tupperware or vice versa. Like, how do they get separated? I'm really not sure. It's like socks. Socks are the devil. So this is the Tupperware we're keeping. You ready to see our herpes cupboard? Bam! Herpy cupboard. Herpes in your cupboard. Okay. Get out of the way, dishes. Everybody has a drawer like this, full of stuff that doesn't fit or doesn't stack or whatever. And my goodness, we're gonna go through it right now. Look at this. Look at all the stuff. I'm just dying to know how much of it actually gets used of our utility junk drawer. Look at that. Yes, there's still stuff in it, but it just is not nearly as bad. Where's our pile of crap? Look at all, look at all, all that stuff. It's so great. I don't know if Brigham told you this before, but our stuff is now committing suicide, left and right. Starting with appliances. Okay, so we're gonna keep our waffle iron. Brigham doesn't really like pancakes, we make waffles instead. We definitely make waffles instead. We use the crock pot and the rice cooker all the time. However, we don't ever steam vegetables in the rice cooker. One thing I don't wanna do is shove things back. Like this is a really deep um, cupboard, but if I put things behind there, I'll never steam again. All right, this is our panini press. I have used it once and I hate it. Uh, mixer, we have to keep our mixer. And that's it. Final push here with the bakeware, cookie sheets, etc. Already these things we use um, frequently enough to keep. I hate this pan. I never ever use this because it creates, it makes muffins that are too large. Muffins are too big. Gotta get rid of them. I have never used this. Not one time. So we're gonna get rid of that. Neither have I. Exclusively for banana bread. But I, I mean. I really want you to make banana bread. Brigham wants me to make banana bread. Who, who don't want banana bread? I do not grate my own cheese. I buy it grated. So, whatever. And I don't do zoodles on here. I, no. Nobody knows what zoodles are. Go on. Um, here's my bun pan. It's the only way I bake is if it's a bun cake. It's a cake. Bunt. This is a serving platter. I borrowed it from Brigham's mom and we should probably just take it back to her. This is my sister's. 
I keep borrowing her stuff and then not taking it back. See how much smaller these are? They make great muffins. No fist in the muffin. No fist in the muffin. No. Perfect. That's how you know if it's good muffin pan. So I don't like this one because it doesn't have the non-stick finish. No non-stick finish. Already have another one. This is going. Large um, cutting board. Gotta keep that. And then our griddle. We are definitely keeping the griddle. Yeah. Put that away. Okay. Put it away then. Put it away so hard. I make sauces. So when I do, I don't want to make a bunch or I want to make a little, I use these. Medium sized saucepan. So we'll keep that. We got a small saucepan to match it. Large um, saute dish pot, whatever you call this, and it's awesome. And it has a big dent in it because Brigham dropped it. Shut up, it tried to kill me. The stock pot, it's awesome. It's a cake. Go fight win. The last thing, as far as I can tell, and it is the spice cabinet. I'm sure many of you have seen something similar. I'm so sorry. I feel really bad, but we're gonna fix our problem right now. Right here, right now. This is what it looks like. Now that it's all laid out, I can't wait to find out how many of these are duplicated. Even more so, I can't wait to get rid of most of it. 